quadratic function application is is about maximizing value. A local coffee shop has daily revenue of can be described by this function. So we are using one function to describe the revenue of this uh, business, where R is the total revenue in dollars and X the number of cups of coffee sold. Okay, so let's write write this down. X is the number of cups sold. Okay, and then R is the revenue. What is the revenue if the coffee shop did not sell any coffee in a day? So if you sell zero cups, so what happened when X is equals to zero? Okay, so that is easy. Then the revenue is zero. So you have 4.32 times zero minus 0 0.0009 and then zero square. So basically this is just equals to zero. So that, that would be a zero dollar if you do nothing in one day, which makes sense, right? So revenue, uh, every time you sell a cup of coffee, so you collect some money, right? And, and then if you sell nothing, then you collect no, no money. So, so that makes sense. So if you sell nothing, then your revenue is zero dollars. And then B is how many cups of coffee should be sold to you a maximum revenue. Hey, why do they ask for maximum revenue? How do you know this is a maximum? So for part B, here is the key part. So the function has an x square, right? So you see that there is an x square. So this is a square. What happened when the function has a square? The highest, uh, the highest degree is a square. So that means this is a quadratic function. The graph of this function is a parabola. And then the parabola is what? The coefficient. So the coefficient of x squared is negative 0 0.0009. So this is negative. That means the parabola looks like this. The parabola opens down and then the vertex is a maximum. So this is a vertex. The vertex is a maximum. So at that point, your revenue is maximized. Now, the next thing is, can you tell me the x coordinate of the vertex? The x coordinate is, now watch, is equals to negative b divided by 2a. So what, where, where is a, a, b, and c for quadratic function? For quadratic function, that is f of x, equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of the first power, and c is a constant. So in this problem, b is the first degree, the coefficient is 4.32, and then 2 multiply a, a is the leading coefficient, negative 0 0.0009. And then that you do the, you do the arithmetic, so you have 2,400 cups. So that means as long as you sell that many cups of coffee in a day, your revenue is maximized. Not one more, not one less. You have to sell exactly that many cups of coffee to maximize your revenue. So basically, this revenue is function, is one function that describes the revenue of your business. And then the graph of that function looks like this okay so when x is equals to 2400 your revenue is maximized it's like right there it's maximized not one more not one less okay so that many of cups to maximize revenue okay so that is your mission you would like to sell that many cups of coffee in in, in a day now the next question is what is the revenue? What is your maximum revenue? That sounds very good, right? I can maximize my revenue. Okay, the next step is, can you tell me what the revenue is? Tell me that the revenue. Then that will be part C. So in part C, when X is equals to 2400, so we have R of 2400 equals to 4.32 times 2400 and then minus 0.0009 and then 2400 square. This one I have a uh, $5184. What is this? This is your maximum revenue. 
So if you are doing business analyst for this for this coffee shop, you have to tell the owner that hey, you have to sell twenty four hundred cups of coffee every day to maximum your to maximize your revenue. And then the owner will ask, okay, uh, we can do that. Then what is my revenue then? And then you say that okay, so if you are able to sell that many cups, then your maximum revenue is five thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars. Okay, so that is the end of this problem. If you like my instruction. Thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel for more problems like that. As always, I will wish you all in the next one. Signing out.